Hello guys and welcome back to Calling Orbit. In this video, I will show you how to implement localization in your Flutter application in easy and simple steps. In this application, we have a button to change the language from English to Arabic and vice versa. Now, before we get started, if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss our content. Now, let's get started. In our pubspec.yaml, we will need to add a new package which is Flutter localization and SDK Flutter. And down below, we will have to add generated to be true, so don't forget to add that as well. Now, in our root directory, we will need to add a new file which is l10m.yaml. Now, in this file, we will need to add three lines. The first line is for the localization directory location, and the second one is for the default template location, and the third one is for the actual generation location. And after we do that, we'll create a new directory called l10m and inside it a new file with the same name. Now in this file, we will create a list of locales that we are going to use inside the application. I'm going to add two, en and ar, but you can add as many as you want. And once we're done with this file, we will create a new file for each locale. So we will create app underscore en dot arb. Now this file looks like a JSON file, so we will add some attributes such as locale, en, and language as English. And we can give it some description and other fields if we want to. And we will also add some more attributes such as hello world, two languages, and change language. And once we're done, we are going to create a new file like it, but this one for the AR. And here we will basically do the same for English. Whatever we did for English, we will do the same for AR, but have the text to be Arabic instead of English. And that's it for this file. Now we will start implementing our app and we will create a new directory inside the lib folder. We'll call it streams and inside it we'll create a new file called general stream. Since the state management is out of scope in this tutorial, we will create a stream that can be used anywhere. So we will create a class called general stream that will hold a stream called language stream and can be accessed anywhere inside the application in order to change the language. Now in order to make dealing with localization and translation easier, we'll create a directory called extensions and inside it we'll create a new file called context extensions. Now inside this file we will have some imports and if you face an issue with the imports just make sure to run flutter pub get and your issue should be resolved. Now we will create an extension on the build context and inside this extension we will return app localization we will call it localization and it will be app localization dot off. We don't have context, so we will pass this and we will have it forced and wrapped. Now we will create a new directory called the screens and inside that we will create a new file called home screen dot dart. Now in this screen we will create a stateless widget called my home page and we will have it as scaffold and we will add some imports. Also, we will take in selected locale and we will start implementing the screen. It will have a bar, some text, and notice that here we are using context.localization, the extension that we used. And we'll continue with the body and we'll continue using the localization that we created, such as hello world and two languages. And we will have the button to change the text. So inside the button, we will have the general stream that we created to take in the unselected local to change it and it will have the text and now we will go to the main and update the main file now in the main file in the init state we will add to the general stream a default local English and we will close it in the dispose method and in the main we will have stream builder to take in a local and the stream would be the general stream that we created and the home would be the, our home page and the supported locale, the list of locales that we created and the locale is the snapshot the data and some delegates that are necessarily here such as Cupertino delegate and 
app localization delegate and we will import the library and down below we will add const and that's it that's everything we need to do in this file uh, we will run the app and see if it will work and as you can see the app is working as expected so thank you guys for watching and if you like the video don't forget to like it comment down below and i will see you in the next video